women. I love everything about women. I love being in love with a woman. And I love the idea of possibly raising children with women, or a woman. But it comes with conflict. This heterosexual world we live in eats at my soul. Let me share a story that happened a few years ago. I was at an initial visit with a naturopathic doctor. And for those of you who haven't seen a naturopathic doctor, they do very thorough intakes of your mental and physical health, as well as your social aspects of life. And in natural sequence, we moved into the social aspect and they asked me if I was married or in a relationship. And I said, yes, happily married. It's a very healthy, strong, and full of love relationship. And the doctor looks at me and goes, that's fantastic. What does your husband do? And I immediately felt like I'd been punched in the stomach. My heart started to cry in pain. I felt hurt and betrayed. And I politely respond, it's to a woman. But in my head, I'm like, you fucking idiot. How could you do this to me? You're a naturopathic doctor. You should know better. Side note. I'm also a naturopathic doctor. <laughs> he embarrassingly apologizes, I'm so sorry. And I even feel embarrassed in all this hurt. And you know what? I start asking myself, this happens all the time. And why? Why does this happen? And maybe is it because I've been labeled this lipstick lesbian? Which Wikipedia defines as someone who enjoys a greater amount of feminine gender. Well, I like to wear dresses and makeup, and I'm really excited at the possibility of potentially carrying children. So maybe. Let me share a more recent story. I was at a doctor's office again, filling out an intake form, and I came to the sexuality section. And it had options, heterosexual, homosexual, bisexual, or other. Which is great, at least they gave me options, and they weren't just assuming I was a heterosexual. But I became really nervous and anxious and sweaty. I didn't resonate with any of those categories. And I've been dating women since grade 12. I haven't dated a man since high school. One could clearly argue that makes me a homosexual. But I should admit that even saying this out loud to you, this very audience, makes me nervous. That you are going to judge me and think less of me. But, however, in that moment, I was so worried that if I clicked off homosexual, I was going to flood their mind with ideas of what I should be before they even met me. And then I always go back to this place when I'm from a small town and I was in a same-sex hidden relationship and all around me I would hear the words gay, homo, fag, tons of labels and really, really strong stereotypes. Stereotypes that I didn't feel like I fit, nor did I want to fit. And from that moment on, I decided that no one would ever put me into a category until they met me. And now, 15 years later, I carry that emotional and visceral reaction everywhere I go. Every time I meet someone, I feel like I'm outing myself for the first time. I'm constantly assessing the situation. Okay, how are they going to react when they find out I'm married to a woman? Are they going to think less of me? It's like I've got this monkey on my back everywhere, and it's weighing me down. If my wife and I are holding hands down the Danforth, or she kisses me goodbye, I'm worried about what the people around us think or what they're judging us for. I'm fearful that patients might see me and think less of me. This heterosexual world, it makes me feel less. And so do my own personal experiences. When people refer to us as friends because they're worried of embarrassing the other person, or they're trying to avoid an uncomfortable situation, that makes me feel less. And now I'm at a point in my relationship with my partner where we're discussing the possibility of having children, which really, really excites me but scares me shitless. I once had a peer tell me that having children in a same-sex relationship is like coming out all over again. And holy shit, is she right? 
When we first started seriously telling people about fertility and sperm donor selection, it was like we were on trial. The judgments, the misunderstandings, the questions, they were hurtful. And in my opinion, downright ignorant. And so now, I'm scared to have children in this world because our kids might have two moms and they might not look like us. And yes, we've heard it over and over again. Well, my kid has so many same-sex parents at their school, which don't get me wrong, that is fantastic. But our world is so fucking heterosexual. The TV shows, the TV commercials, the radio stations, our sporting culture, our healthcare system, our education, and much, much more. And I know we are catering to the majority. I completely get that. But I just ask for a little more open-mindedness and some consideration. So for me, being a lesbian is really hard. And I carry a weight with me every day. And that weight that society reminds me of so kindly every day as well. But you know what? I wouldn't change it for the world. I am completely in love in my relationship and completely happy. And I, yeah, have to work a little bit harder to make myself happy. But I have amazing friends and family who listen to my fears and who accept me for me. Thank you. <laughs>